He was very upset that news leaked about the team's nickname. He was close to livid. Uh, Vince Namoli was uh, granted this new team. And, and I thought it was interesting when he had choices of what to call it. Then it came out that they were considering stingrays. And there was a story behind that which was very much Namoli-ish. And the story was, of course, that he wanted to, to name the team the Tampa Bay Stingrays. At that point, baseball had what's called the Hawaiian Baseball League, which was kind of a winter league. They were the Hawaii Stingrays. They had the rights to the name. So the Hawaii Stingrays said to Namoli, okay, you can use our name, but you're gonna to have to pay us $100,000. They put a price on it. He felt it was too exorbitant. Which was too much for Vince Namoli to spend. That sounds like Vince. A Stingrays would have been a much more marketable name. I mean, you can just kind of imagine the things, the logos you could have drawn up and jumped on that. So instead of calling it the Stingrays, Mike Deason broke the story. And so he was ready to go with it. But he thought he would tell, uh, I think it was uh, John Higgins, the first counsel, that I've got this information, I'm gonna go with it. No, you don't, you don't have that. Tell me what the name is, and Mike says. The Devil Rays. The Devil Rays. It's Devil Rays. And Higgins' jaw just dropped. Uh, Mike said, Vince walked up to him and said, you're gonna go with this, huh? And he said, Vince said, um, short-term gain, long-term pain. People looked at each other and went, devil rays, you gotta be kidding me. Something like, it's a passive bottom feeding creature and it just created a bad vibe. Which <laughs> inflamed a lot of people, especially the religious types. Why, why start from behind? You created a name that a segment of your population, for whatever reason, didn't like. Didn't like the idea that you had the word devil in the, in the name. But that's what he called it.